go. So I think we've got um, a reasonable uh, idea of where the liabilities of this lie. We have a cast shaft here that a molded gear is put on. The, um, the mold gives you a, a conical surface in here with some sort of precision um, uh, ID and that ID actually has the wobble that you see in the ant as you wiggle this thing back and forth. So our proposal is to try to uh, improve upon this bearing by which is conic. It's conic, and and so we're gonna we're gonna grab some bronze stock, and we're going to precision ream this hole. We will poke through to the other side to give us uh, potential access to um, the outside of the of the gigapan, uh, you know, for for a future future use. But the intent is to make a bushing that will um, improve the rigidity and provide a, a nice, easy access to a shaft that will spin and rotate and then handle any kind of shelf arrangement that we have uh, to bolt onto it. And, um, there Which will hold a, a XY stage like this. Right. And then these uh, can adjust it. These yeah, you these are the there. these are the adjusters that move the the fiber chuck back and forth. I don't know where the fiber chuck went, but uh, which yeah. would move it up and down on this disc uh, that is on the end of the panorama head, typically. So so this is this would be Y, and um, this would be X, and then this nut here actually moves the fiber chuck, which would hold the pin that holds the ant. So this would be moving up and down in Z and you've got all the degrees of, of, of rotation that you need. So the ant will be in the rotisserie position so that it will spin on the shaft which is at the end of the deck and then it will rotate uh, on the other axes. That this, a this axis and the other axes here will um, cross.